Hello. Give me just a moment. Cool. Okay. We got this thing. Awesome. Yeah, as long as it's current, you're good to go. Do you guys want to map up the area, some info on stuff to do? Yeah, we'll take a map. And then were you planning on driving to the top of the butte today? Can we walk it? You can walk it, yeah. I think we'll walk it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay, you guys Thank you. Go. Thank you. Okay, here's a general map. Uh, so we'd have to park road 1.75 miles to walk up there. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so we changed our mind about walking versus driving up to the butte because it's kind of chilly out. So I got us a permit. Oh, is this it? This is it, right in front of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not our first crater, but it's the most shallow. It's a crater, but yeah, it's shallow. That's so funny. I was just looking at all the trees and like, oh, it's so pretty. I forgot where we are and what I just drove around. Yeah, a volcano. A volcano. It erupted 7,000 years ago. We're 500 feet up. There's the crater. That's the crater. Very cool. Lava Butte, elevation 5,020 feet. Deschutes National, National Forest. There it is. Oh, is that a little volcano? Yeah, a little cinder cone. A little cinder cone. I think they all are. Oh, I yeah. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Up there, up there. Wow. Very cool. Active lookout. They're upstairs. Find and fire. It's windy up here. It's breezy. It's cold. Earth, I got solar. Fine. We can walk around it. There's the trail. Lava Butte Trail. Quarter mile. We're gonna do it. Oh, Wendy, put my hood back on. There we go. Let's go find him. Where'd he go? He's inside. <laughs> He's inside. Hey, that thing's gonna go. Oh, it's better in here. Oh yeah, it's cold outside. It's cold. Do you want to walk more, the view? More than they thought. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not walking the view. They're, lucky They're all like, you said you were going to walk up to because it. You said you were going to walk the view, and now we're not. I didn't say any of that. I did. I said it all. I'm a liar. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. We're not walking the view. We'll fly it for you guys. <laughs> visitor center yeah oh there's a waterfall mm-hmm yeah, okay. maybe we should go do that Shazzy do you want some gum your breath stinks I know I was thinking this morning when I was brushing she needs uh, like those I have those, gum what are they called chewy sticks or called? dentist oh, look, sticks here we go there's a bunch of trails Ben Hem Ben Hem Ben Hem <laughs> Ben Hem <laughs> Well, I don't see Benham or Benham. <laughs> I don't see it here. Oh, here it is. This shoots river to ben, Benham Number two Falls. Number to Benham Falls. Yeah. Half a mile. Zero feet elevation gain. Nice. Cross the footbridge and follow a wide trail. Okay. I guess we could do that. 
Sounds good. Okay. Let's go to Ben Hen Trail. Okay. Gosh, it's gonna get way more stinky. <laughs> Alright, no stinky. Let's Benham Falls. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so yeah, just a half mile to get to. Easy. You can keep going eight miles and see like four or five falls. Uh, we don't have time for that. Trail of the Molten Land. All right, one more trail for this section. The Lava Land Trail. Yeah. It's nine square miles of like molten lava rock. That's a lot of lava rock. It's a lot of lava rock. All right, we are here. It's about a mile, it says. How pretty with all these little bushes. Yeah, and the contrast and the big sister over there in the background, the mountains. Wow. How pretty. Snowballs of lava. On the inside, these boulders resemble cinnamon rolls, providing clues on how they I, probably looks more like monkey bread <laughs> than a cinnamon roll. <laughs> Believe it or not, these giant boulders in front of you start just as small chunks of molten rocks. These pieces broke off the sides of the river channel. They rolled and tumbled down the flow, growing in sizes as they moved, much like a snowball rolling downhill. Okay. They got bigger. Like that one, that's what they're talking about. And that one. And those ones. There's a snowball. Snowball! <laughs> okay, so we left the Lava Lands area and we drove 24, 25 miles to the Newberry Caldera. Um, part of the volcanic um, national monument and so we're exploring that area it's it's, it's windy if you can't tell but look at this this is east lake it's got a beach and everything it smells Nasty. Ew, we don't want her off leash here. Oh, the, the lake is really pretty, but the shore is, what is this, like manure? <laughs> it looks, it's muddy. Doesn't smell the best, but it's pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. I bet out there in the middle of the water, you don't even notice the smell. No, not at all. It is pretty. It is moving. Yeah. Whoa, it's leaning. Oh wow, the beach goes all the way around. Wow. All right, where are we? We're at the Big Obsidian Flow. Big Obsidian Flow. We're gonna go out there. It says no dogs recommended because of volcanic glass. But we're gonna be careful. And we'll abort if needed. Probably gonna abort. Yeah, because it's cold. Hot. I don't know. <laughs>
Tinian, pumice, and pumice. Pumice is glass. Frothy glass with small bubbles. Frothy glass with big bubbles. Hmm. Oh, there's water. There's snow. See, it's cold. We're not that crazy. Whoa, that is obsidian. Yeah. Those are big chunks. There's Shotzi for scale. It's like a bunch of Shotzi's. Those are huge. How oh, cool. Yeah, so smooth too. I've only seen them in like rock shops. I've never seen them like... On this one? Well, just out in nature, I guess. Wow. I like in that big obsidian flow. Yeah, this is a mile. It's a mile long loop trail. Yeah, but it yeah, but it's also I think the one square mile the flo lava flow. Oh, okay, there we go. One square mile of lava flow. The other one was nine miles. Nice. Good job. Pretty crazy. The main cinder car behind us. The main vent. Huh. Yep. It's huge. Okay, so we just stopped at our second lake, Paulina Lake. There's two lakes up here, so Paulina and East Lake. This one's my favorite. It's a little bit more Caribbean colors and feel. One more stop. We did Paulina Lake, East Lake, and now Paulina Falls. So we're gonna go there next. I hear it, yeah. Uh, easiest hike ever. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Who's them hanging out over there? Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, yeah. Crazy. Those ones down there are uh, the above ones. Yeah. Right, and they down these things. Yeah. And they fall and they come down. They come down. Pieces break off like that. Mm -hmm. And it says that the volcano erupts about once every thousand years supposed to erupt in a few few hundred more years they say interesting that's pretty cool they plunge like 80 feet they're twin waterfalls pretty cool So we explored two parts of the park. There's one more we didn't. It was just down the way. And it was like a volcanic, um, like structural forest. I don't know, I think it's like ashes that cooled down. Lava cast forest. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. I was partly right. Mm -hmm. That's what he's here for, to yeah. correct me. And the other thing that we weren't able to do right now, because the Shotzi is the lava river cave. Oh yeah, that's it's supposed like to be a mile cool. long. Yeah, I all forgot that about lava that. Flow that we were yeah. looking at earlier. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. What? I don't mind a spelunking. No, but um, it's a pretty cool spot. This area is really good for kayaking and boating, and the other area seems really good for biking. 
super bikey, like bike friendly. Oh yeah, if you want to see everything quickly, bring your bikes. Yeah, it said it's like It'll all ages, all skill levels, and then um, yeah, and then all the hikes are like a mile, a mile long or shorter. So that's really cool. And then this area even had a 21 mile single track bike loop that goes around the Newberry Caldera. So, what? so that's pretty cool too. It's bad on that. Yeah. Anyways, so till next time.